What's up GITV, Bantha Bill here and as a lot of you already know, we carry a very large selection of ENL AKs. However, we just recently got in six brand new ones that I have the pleasure of doing an overview for right now. The first on our list of guns we're going to be going through is the AMK Full Metal A106A AK74MN Airsoft Gun, which retails for $389.99 at airsoftgi.com. This bad boy is going to come in shooting right around 380 feet per second, and honestly, I love the ENLs because they are so rugged, and this one is different because it comes with a rail system on the front, and something unique about it is that the top rail can be detached if you feel like running something a little bit different or you want to make the gun lighter. Now everything on the gun is going to be full metal with exception of the pistol grip, the side folding stock, and the AK-74 style magazine you see here. Now it's worth noting that the gun's battery does go underneath the dust cover, however this gun is 11-1 LiPo ready for those of you that already got those stick type and butterfly type 11-1s. Now also this gun is going to feature a standard version 3 gearbox and short type motor, so there are going to be no issues with it accepting upgrades if you so choose to. Now something I really like about the ENLs is how rugged and durable they are, meaning that you can bump it into walls or anything else you may encounter during a 3D event, this gun is going to have no issues handling it. Now that is because they are made using the same steel as well as the same manufacturing processes as the real AK-47s and AK-74s, which are world renowned for being extremely rugged, durable, and reliable. Next up we have the A104C AK-74U wrist, which is going to retail for about $369.99 at airsoftgi.com and this is going to come in shooting right around 370 feet per second. Now like the previous rifle, this gun is going to feature the same style rail system which does have the detachable top rail, so if you feel like changing it up you can, no issues. It is also going to have a side folding stock, however this one is metal and skeletonized so it's going to be a little bit more rigid than the plastic but it's still going to probably be a little bit lighter. The only parts on this gun that are going to be made of plastic are going to be the pistol grip and the AK-74 style magazine that you see right here. Now this gun is going to be better suited for those of you who maybe are like a sniper role and need something as a backup in case things get up close and personal. This gun, like the others, is going to feature your standard version 3 gearbox as well as the short motor, so it's going to take upgrades or downgrades if you want to play inside without any issues. The magazine is going to be 120 rounds and it is mid capacity, so be sure to pick up some more at airsoftgi.com if you feel like playing more than one game at a time. This gun does feature standard 18 to 1 gears and it's going to be shooting around 22 rounds a second with an 11-1 LiPo. So for those of you that are looking for something high performance, but still short, this is going to be your AK of choice. Now next up on our list we have the A104B AK74U wrist which is going to retail for about $329.99 at airsoftgi.com and it's going to come in shooting right around 370 feet per second. Now like the gun before it, it does feature a rail system, however this one is going to be different in the sense that it completely wraps around the barrel, whereas the one before had a top rail that could be detached for your style of play. Another difference in it is the standard grip that you'd see on an AK has been replaced with more of an M249 style grip which is a little bit more comfortable for those of you like me who have larger hands. You are going to get the same 120 round polymer mid capacity magazine and the same skeletonized metal folding stock. Internally it's going to have the same version 3 gearbox and same short type motor. So again this is going to be another option for those of you who maybe are more of a sniper role but need something for if someone gets nice and close. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of the new ENL AKs brought in by Jack Precision who is the official sponsor of BB Wars and New Dawn. Stay tuned for the next installment where we're going to go over some more classic styled AKs as well as the crown jewel of the ENL line in which there were only 50 made. Once again, I'm Bantha Bill, this is GITV, and we'll see you guys next time.